Wow, a marble in the sky with hypnotic stripes, a beautiful nightmare, a frigid hell, pressure so intense it makes a nuclear bomb feel like a firecracker, liquid metallic oceans 40,000 kilometers deep and raging hurricanes larger than Earth that never sleep. Jupiter, a world of extremes. The Romans knew of seven bright objects in the sky, the sun, the moon, and the five brightest planets. Jupiter being the largest planet, they decided to name it after the king of gods. It is the fifth planet from the sun, located between Saturn and Mars. This gas giant is the largest planet in our solar system. In fact, it is so massive that 1,300 Earths could fit inside of it. It is also the oldest planet in the solar system. It was formed from the dust and gases left behind from the sun during its formation some 4.6 billion years ago. Having such a strong gravitational pull, Jupiter has accumulated 95 moons into its orbit these moons are remnants of the gas and dust disk that surrounded the planet after it formed. Jupiter's moon Ganymede is the largest moon and the ninth largest object in our solar system. It is bigger than the planet Mercury and dwarf planet Pluto. Similar to the Sun, Jupiter is mostly composed of hydrogen and helium. It has swirling clouds of ice crystals, gases, and ammonia that give it its colorful striped appearance. As a gas giant, Jupiter doesn't have a true surface. While a spacecraft would have nowhere to land on Jupiter, let's talk about what would happen if one tried to fly through it. Well, it's really quite simple. You'd die, quickly. Due to the extreme pressure and heat of Jupiter's interior, a spacecraft would crush and incinerate in just a few seconds. Picture this, just 600 kilometers below Jupiter's surface, the pressure is already 1,000 times stronger than the pressure we experience on Earth. This type of pressure would be equivalent to having a 200,000 pound block placed on your chest. Now, if you were to continue to travel deeper into Jupiter's interior, by the time you reached 10,000 kilometers below the surface, Jupiter's pressure would have reached around one million times the pressure of Earth's atmosphere. This would be like having an entire building placed on your chest. At this type of pressure, hydrogen gases are compressed into liquid, forming gigantic ocean-like bodies of liquid metallic hydrogen deep below Jupiter's surface. These bodies of liquid reach depths of 40,000 kilometers deep. That's nearly 10 times deeper than the Pacific Ocean. Being five times farther from the sun than Earth is, Jupiter is much colder. On average, the temperature on Jupiter's surface is negative 110 degrees Celsius. The interior of Jupiter, however, is extremely hot and gradually increases as you dive deeper and deeper into Jupiter's atmosphere. These extremely hot temperatures are due to the planet's internal heat source. Jupiter actually radiates about twice as much energy as it receives from the sun. Now, say instead of traveling below Jupiter's surface, you decided to travel upwards. You would notice that the temperature would start to dramatically increase again. About 960 kilometers above the surface of Jupiter, temperatures can reach 725 degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to melt lead. This is because of the chemical and physical interactions between the planet's elements, magnetic fields, and gravity waves. One thing in particular that generates immense energy heating up Jupiter's upper atmosphere is the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot is a continuous anticyclonic storm. In simple terms, a raging hurricane. With wind speeds up to 432 kilometers per hour, it is the largest storm in our solar system and has existed for nearly 400 years. So all in all, from afar, Jupiter's massive size 
and thick, colorful clouds give it a stunning striped appearance. But the closer we get to the planet, the more clear it becomes that this king of gods isn't as welcoming as it looks. Thank you.